Good morning, Dr. Nazir. This is Mo Yuwei. And we are coming from Good K, which is together with Noa Amira and also CT Noa Amira. In this video, we will briefly explain about our milestone project, which is an NB serial binary to BCD converter. So hereby is our schematic of our data path unit, which uh, it consists of multiplexers, left shift, regi left shift register, uh, the egg, an egg bit data register, and also our accumulator, which is represented by the binary to BCD converter, um, that being formed with the co uh, by utilizing condition adder. So I'll briefly explain about our, our uh, function of design. So for this. Uh, for this two set selector wise, for this S zero, it will perform the set for sending the input of zero, but whereas this S one will be performed for sending the input as one for one in this case. And there's another condition which uh once this S zero S S one is is high uh, is high is uh meaning to say they are high simultaneously, then as you can see that. Here we are actually connected uh, uh, XOR gate in between in between with this and this uh, both of these selectors. So in this case, the the perform for uh, the perform for standard input of zero and one we are gonna not gonna be assist. Meaning to say, um, it will remain as whole once the, the case of S zero and S one uh, are high simultaneously. And for this level to pulse, uh, it's actually performed as a button that um, the, the data will be gonna, will gonna be loaded once this level to pulse level to pulse input is it is being set as one. Yeah. So I'll jump I'll jump back to here. So so once the once the data for, for the multiplexer is ready, you will be sending it to, to the left, left shift register, which um, this left, for how many times that the multiplexer has uh, performed for the for the input that uh, is, sent, is sending me to say, for example, if if let's say um, I'm taking, uh, we should shift for 4 bit of the 0, then I was, I was sending this uh, 4 bit of 0 from this uh, from this selector S0 4 times to to the multiplexers and it will be gonna be it's gonna be sending to the left shift register which uh in the in the next step of the left shift register it will be gonna be shifted uh, shifted with four four new bits with zero. And this is how the left shift register looks like. So in this case, it's or a b a b two to one, uh, or a b a b two to one, uh, eight of two to one mass, and also d fifth are required in this case. And same goes to data register here, as you can see. Okay. So until the data from the data register is being registered and sending to the output for the for y, uh, for the output of y here then it will, it will be taken the output from the data register that have been ready to register to our accumulator which is uh, which is the conditional address that we have built in this case to perform the binary to bcd conversion and once we have done for the bo uh, for the bottom level of the conditional adders, the output will be taken and together with the together with some of the side values like Q zero and also the ground values that that are required for the seven segment so towards the uh, seven four four seven in this case, which is BCD to the seven segment. So in this case, since we are doing for AB binary, so um three seven segment is required to perform three set of the BCD value. And to prove this, I will show the simulation result here. 
So oh, yeah, as you can see, uh, in the initial state, you know the 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 output from the the output from the output pin Y is actually eight, eight bit of the zero. And at first, we are perform we are trying to perform for pressing selected S one for eight times, which means that we wish we wish to send for eight bit of one to to the shape register and so also. Data shift register. So once the once the input here is ready and the log here is being pulsed, then only then only the input set being sent sent from the multiplexer to the receive register will perform in this case. Means say you can see from the output here. And eight eight bit of one is that has been successfully shift, shifted as registered in the shift register. And and also once the once the lot there lot here is at input high in this case, then uh the output here will perform zero as high. You need to say uh in this case it will it will work as by defining the performance for the loading of data path. And for the second case here, which which is we're trying to pressing S zero for four times. Which uh which means that we want to shape for the values of zero for four. Then uh, once the data from the selector here is ready and the loss lot is being pulsed, then four bit of the zero will be shifted in this case. And in this case, one one of the things that uh I would like to highlight is the values that being take uh that being taken for shift the shifting, it will be the values that are from coming from the the shift register, shift register previous value that be registered from the from the starting to the data register. So mean say the value that be taken to shift is from the previous value here. And another case that I, that I've been mentioned just now is once this S zero and S one are both at high state like simultaneously, then there's no there's no any shifting will be performed in this case. Okay, so with that, that will be all for the data path unit explanation. And in the next video, I will explain about the control unit for the for the binary to BCD converter.